So Raven's already confirmed that they're making some fundamental changes to Warzone in the way of perks here coming up. And today I wanted to take a little bit of time and discuss a little bit about what that may entail, when we may see these changes coming, and everything in between. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you hope to see out of these new introductions here for perks for Warzone? Is there any particular perk you hope to see coming? Anything that you hope to see countered? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. But as well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's aim for a thousand likes here on this video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone, Modern Warfare, Cold War, and anything COD related. If you guys are interested in any of that, hit that subscribe button. But said, there's a lot to talk about and a lot to discuss, so let's jump right into it. So when it comes to some of these changes within Warzone, Raven seemingly has been making a conscious effort to adjust the game in a couple of different ways, starting all the way back with our first notice here of this in relation to fundamental changes of how Warzone works back with the Season 4 patch notes. In those notes going live before the even Season 4 update here, they ended up taking a section out of those patch notes and saying some thoughts on perks, where we're exploring all avenues in terms of changes to provide fair and reactable counterplay options to dead silence. A decision like this must be made carefully, especially considering how it may destabilize other aspects of the game. They then followed up, after leaving players wonder for a couple of weeks at that point, they followed up within the mid season updates by actually giving us some clarity as to what will be happening here with this, in which they said, we are excited to share that we're planning the debut of two new Warzone specific perks. Alongside them, High Alert will also be receiving an update that allows players to hear dead silent footsteps. Until then, we may see a weapon make its long awaited debut in Verdansk, but that last part is a little bit of a different story for a different day, likely referencing the CX-9. We also saw out of that mid season update, Raven's conscious effort to alter how the gameplay itself works by changing the TTK across the board in many aspects, kind of a sweeping TTK change to Warzone overall. Now, by all accounts, aside from the anti-cheat topic, which I don't believe is a Raven side thing, that I think is more so an Activision end thing, Raven seems to be trying to make conscious changes to Warzone for the better, taking a step back and looking at some of their approach here. Whether you agree with that or not is entirely up to you, that's subjective, and there's no right or wrong answer with that and how you feel. But when it comes down to it, some of these changes definitely will change the fundamentals of Warzone, with High Alert essentially becoming a mix of Sixth Sense from previous Call of Duty games, but also Sit Rep Pro from Modern Warfare 3, where you kind of have the best of both of those put into one perks that will allow you to hear enemy footsteps potentially louder, but soften your teammates footsteps, along with then that visual ping that you'd end up getting from, say, a Sixth Sense perk from previous Call of Duty games as well when an enemy is targeting you. But those new perks perks and what those may entail, that's where speculation and prediction come into play and where I kind of want to pitch some ideas here for what I think this may mean. But when examining what needs to be laid out, it's kind of hard, admittedly, to find things that have existed already that we can simply be like, okay, we're taking that and putting it into Warzone. Because a lot of Modern Warfare's perks actually do cover a lot of the bases, and historically speaking, a lot of perks have either just been adjusted and built upon off past versions of perks, or are just relatively in line with a sort of design philosophy that has continued on throughout the past decade, not really deviating a whole ton and adding in perks that offer an entirely unique perspective of things. And a lot of those times when those are introduced, they're not incredibly well chosen or incredibly well performing. Things that I immediately gravitate towards are like Team Link from Black Ops 4, where you could see friendly teammates through walls and the fog of war circle was a little bit larger around you. So a lot of that design philosophy is kind of all encompassing and we kind of know of what we've seen in the past before, but it's kind of there already, if that makes sense. So it makes speculation a little bit harder when it comes to presenting these things like that, but I definitely think there are a few things that could be added. One big thing, if we're taking a look and countering Dead Silence, I think the other largest problem within Warzone on a fundamental level is that of Ghost. Ghost is, to me, fundamentally flawed. I'm okay with the perk if you're moving and it conceals you at that point, but whenever you end up turtling in a corner, you don't really move for a while and Ghost still protects players, that's where a big problem, I think, arises. Another one is that there is traditionally no counter here to this, unless you end up going through a red door, doing an Easter egg or something like that, that ends up giving you an advanced UAV, which oftentimes there's only one to maybe two of them out there in the entire game as is, that you have to go through ulterior means to get to. There is quite literally no counter to Ghost as a perk. Yes, if you end up popping a triple UAV or a regular UAV, you can see those players that are ghosted outside of 150 meters, but 
when's the last time that you really needed information outside of 150 meters that would immediately help you out in a gunfight in a close to medium range engagement? That doesn't help in 90% of scenarios. Outside of just changing the perks so that you're seen if you say pop a triple UAV for 12,000 in-game cash, I do think that there still needs to be some sort of hard counter actually in game that allows for a little bit of counterplay here for it. While this would be incredibly hard to do, my mind immediately gravitates towards an old perk which you may or may not remember, that of reconnaissance from World at War. Now, it would have to act a little differently, I think, here at this, in which that initially would expose all artillery, dogs, and tanks on the map in World at War, but to me, I think it could have this similar effect where it showcases ghosted players with UAVs. And that's not something that would necessarily negate the entire effect of Ghost, but it could be something that would be an immediate counterplay to Ghost, something that you have to consciously go out of your way to equip, and then also to end up getting via utility in-game. So something like that I think could work out pretty well, but while I think that we may see a perk or something here that may along the lines counter something for Ghost, that still doesn't account even if that is the case for one more perk here, because we have two up on deck that are brand new and Warzone exclusive, so what happens here with this? Now, there's not a whole ton that I can really think of, but my next guess would be something maybe along the lines of like Dexterity from Black Ops 2, which would allow you in the case of Warzone, potentially to have armor plates reload a little faster. And hell, maybe even give you the full 100% of an armor plate here, not just that annoying 10% sliver, if it's slightly cracked that you'll sometimes end up encountering. Maybe then also adding in additional abilities to climb ladders and mantle things faster so that you end up having some more movement attributes added on, but wouldn't detract from anything like AMP that allows you to switch your weapons faster. So that might be something up on deck. Other options that I've also considered in terms of speculation, looking through historical introductions for perks, something like lightweight, reducing fall damage to a degree where maybe instead of that, I think, what's it, like 15 meters that you can survive a fall? Maybe something that allows for maybe incremental damage that at a higher distance you take a little but not kills you, or maybe just increases that distance that it takes for you to die via fall damage, and maybe also allows you to move a little faster at its base, similar to Dead Silence's movement buff that it ended up having, but something you could take full time. Maybe it's something like Bandolier from Call of Duty games in the past, where it ends up giving you full ammo right off the start. And yes, this would be similar to the weapon perk of Fully Loaded, but what's interesting is that that only, of course, affects modern warfare weapons. Yes, we have it in there, but not Cold War weapons. And sure, if you overkill, say, a modern warfare rifle and a Cold War rifle with the modern warfare rifle having Fully Loaded on it, that would allow you to have full ammo in both of those weapons in the same class but it's not often ideal. So with more weapons coming out for Cold War still here throughout the rest of the year and also potentially Vanguard and games in the future not having a fully loaded weapon perk, it would allow for that ability to get that same effect but only being Warzone specific and not affecting anything in terms of base weapon design. Maybe it's something like the toughness perk where there's a reduction in flinch when shot. And in a not so serious fashion, maybe we end up seeing shades from World at War return in which that adds sunglasses to your character to combat the global sun flare in Verdansk, which if you guys weren't around during World at War, yes, that was actually a real perk. Shades actually added sunglasses onto your character and then ended up making signal flare intensity not as bright or glaring. To me, I think still one of the funniest perks within Call of Duty history, but there's a lot of stuff that could absolutely be added. I think it's just a matter of if any of these will fall into place. And then the next question of, where would they fall into place? Because that's one thing that as much as I would love to see Perk 2 just get absolutely stacked with perks to combat things like the usage of Ghost, I just don't really see this happening. I think that we'll see a little bit more of a balance across the board between 1, 2, and 3. Maybe an adjustment here to Tier 2 a little bit further because we do know that High Alert is already in that Tier 2 category. So maybe we see one in Tier 1 and Tier 3 with another one in Tier 2 to combat Ghost usage. Since statistically speaking, Ghost is actually the most used Perk 2 slot out of the global populace of Call of Duty players. But I think it comes down to what Raven is intending to do. I think that some of these movement attributes attribute ones could fit into a tier three maybe maybe we end up seeing if there's that bandolier again to combat the fully loaded of modern warfare weapons maybe that's a tier one perk we'll have to wait and see here with all of that the only thing that i think is really up on deck here in relation to this topic is well when are these changes going to be happening now if i were to guess this isn't something that we can see just introduced via a playlist update so it's not something like come this thursday we'll see a brand new perk here coming with this maybe i eat those words but i'm guessing that i'm not going to these sort of of things changing the fundamentals of a game usually require a title update and right now the only title update that we end up having up on deck that we know of 
is season five's introduction here come the sort of middle of August. I think right now the battle pass is slated to end on August 10th, though that's a Tuesday, and we haven't seen a Tuesday update for Call of Duty in about a year and a half in terms of content additions. So I'd assume that that then moves to maybe like August 12th, but that's something that I would imagine requires a title update, something that we wouldn't necessarily see this until a larger change for the game, which the next one is season five. So I would imagine that at the earliest we see this coming here at this and given that Raven has sort of been progressively giving us information and then giving us more as of the next update to follow, that seems like the best guess in my opinion. I mean, season four, we ended up hearing that we'd get some adjustments. Then season four reloaded, we ended up getting actual specifics and information about new perks coming. So I'd imagine that is something that comes as season five. But that also leaves me hopeful then for the future that maybe we see some of these things that as a community we don't quite like and maybe there are fixes made sometime down the line. But for right now, it looks like Raven is going to be making some changes here with this to the fundamentals of Warzone. So I want to let you guys know my thoughts here on this, what I think it could work out to be, when it could work out to be, and everything in between. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you hope to see in terms of new perks for Warzone? Is there anything that you think that would fit very well into Warzone that isn't there yet? Anything that you would change or adjust? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so I'm going to single thing all things Warzone. Cold War, Modern Warfare, anything COD related, we get you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you also want to follow me from Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get camp outside of YouTube. Probably live on both those. So if you guys want to up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. But that said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.